Okay, this is the ultimate. This is the ultimate test now. As um, we shall see how the budget PC shall do. Okay, guys, the first game we're gonna play is oh, first game we're gonna test out. Let me just show you the PC. The properties come up there. No, it's not this one. Uh, you have to go to control computer properties. I'll show you the specs of the PC quickly, just to show you I've not changed anything. Okay, Windows 7 Professional i3 550, 7 gigs of RAM. Uh, blah blah blah. That's everything, pretty much. It's not overclocked as that would be changed as well. And it does say nothing's been overclocked. So yeah. Hi right, guys. Gonna go ahead and put some games on now. Okay, the first game we're gonna try out is Ballistic Overkill. So let's see how this runs. Hopefully with some good settings. Uh, hold up guys. Need to put some audio on. This much audio is okay. Wow, look at that guys. That looks mad. We're just gonna, as you can see there, there's the counter, FPS counter in the top right. Currently saying 200 FPS, but that's just because we're in a menu. It's when we get into a lobby. So let's see what he's put here. Okay, so it's automatically put the settings at medium at 1080p, full screen, facings off, and tail things off. All right, we're gonna put the settings up to the max. Let's see. Hi, let's see how this runs. How do you play now? How do you play? How do you play? Play now. Okay, we're searching for much. Let's see what the FPS is like on full settings, max, maxed out settings. Only things that's not maxed out is the anti aliasing but forget that, you don't really need that. It doesn't make much of a difference. Only depends on which game you're playing. But this game, on this game, anti aliasing really doesn't make much of a difference. Because they're doing good with it. Okay, so it's a King of Hill game. Blackfield. Uh, this game you have to pay for, but the developer gave it out to me for free because he's a good guy. He wanted me to make a video on it for YouTube, but I forgot to do it. So I guess this could be it. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, thank you for sending me the code for that and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so this is going to load now. Alright, we're on 90 FPS at the moment. I don't know if you can see that. 97 FPS. This is just in the menu though. You spawn as a player. Let's see. Give me this kit. Okay. Alright, we're at 77 FPS with full settings on. So as you can see, this this process is quite powerful. Packs quite a punch. Let's see if there's any stuttering or anything. The only slowdown of this PC is the hard drive, to be honest. Oh. Yes, mainly the hard drive. As you can see, we get the odd stutter where the hard drive comes. It's very odd though, you literally don't get it much. As you can see. I'm playing and recording with one hand, so very difficult. I'm gonna stand in one place and shoot. Very good. Bloody hell. Yeah, we're maintaining a good average frame, frames of about 70 FPS. You can expect that to drop to about 50 with full anti aliasing settings on. Even with those settings on, that's pretty good though. So, yeah. Look how good this looks, guys. For the budget PC, the only thing I've added to this PC, uh, when it came, it was the i3 5, 550 with uh, 4 gigs of RAM. I've added another 3 gigs in. Uh, hard drive is the same. That's about it. It's literally... The, oh, and the graphics card. I put the 1013. That because it didn't come with the graphics card. Plus, I didn't have the old uh, VGA connection, so I needed one with the HDMI. So that's why I got that. So paired together with that, it cost about 120 quid altogether. And wow, you can see how budget it is, but how well it runs games. Right? Well, you've only seen one game yet, so I'll show you the next game now. Very powerful. 
I'll show you a really popular one because you guys like popular games, I'm guessing. Uh, which is Fortnite, so let's go ahead and I'll run Fortnite quickly. Oh, guys, we're on Fortnite now. Gain 116 FPS on uh, just a menu. <laughs> but that's just a menu. Okay, so settings are on low at the moment. I'm going to put that up in a second. Why is it windowed? Full screen, there you go. Unlimited rate. Uh, it doesn't go to 1080p because this screen is a bit weird. It's old. It's like a 2006, but pretty much it's near to 1080p. So you could call it 1080p, I guess. Graphics are full. Uh, view distance. Right, I'm going to try in high settings, see how the performance comes. If you sync soft motion blurs off, okay. Apply. Yes. Let's try out. Okay, so already as you can see, 48 FPS, 650 FPS in just the menu alone. So it's not giving me good hopes. But this game is very heavy on every every PC I've played on. Same with GTA 5, GTA 4, I mean. GTA 4 is heavy, this is heavy, Call of Duty Ghost is heavy. They're very unoptimized, pretty much. But yeah. Let's see what we can do. So we've got everything on max settings, pretty much. Let's see what happens. Bloody hell. By the way, guys, I'm recording at 5am in the morning. So please uh, give me a thumbs up for that. I don't know if you can see that there. It says 5 there. Yeah, you can't see that. I'll show you in a second on this computer. Alright, well, guys. We're into the game, I think. You can hear people talking. Okay, so we're getting very low FPS. Oh, never mind. It's gone high up now. <laughs> Just at the start, where you're surrounded by loads of players. You can hear people. I'm going to jump out. What can I jump out? Oh. Ah, interesting. Okay, so we're getting about 40 FPS. It's playable. Very good. Very good playable. As long as it's above 30 FPS, which is good. Uh, this keyboard is... Uh, I bought from Asda, so it's very cheap. It cuts off if I, I think the receiver's on this side because when I put my hand there, it cuts off the signal and stops responding. And yeah. Oh, they got Cubia. Never seen that before. Right, yeah, so it's definitely playable. You get about 40 FPS average. Whoa. Yeah, 40. We're getting about. The lowest I've seen so far is 35. So we're getting about 40 FPS going up to 50. Depends on the area, pretty much. 50 FPS now, but yeah, I'm gonna go to the next game now. So everything is definitely playable in full settings, but you really don't need to play in full settings. You won't see much of a benefit. Let me just close this down. Oh, there you go. As you can see, 5 a.m. in the morning. That's how dedicated I am. Hi right, guys, we're gonna start the game now. So everything's in high settings. Hi right, guys, we're in the game now. Yes, yeah, average in still 80 FPS, 90 FPS, blood deal. 92 FPS Average in the same amount everything's in full it looks amazing the camera doesn't do it justice You are 90 FPS So this game runs fine. We're hitting about 90 FPS What was the top part then? Our terrain detail no what was the first one? Image quality. What's the difference between image and texture quality? So the same Okay, so we put everything in extra. I think this was the Call of Duty where they wanted to show off what they can do with their graphics. Okay, ready? Bam! Everything should look amazing now. Bloody hell. Difference is miles amazing. I guess I'm going to load up the campaign, show you some gameplay, see what FPS we get in full settings. In this uh, setting, in this right now, we're getting about 30 FPS, which is quite low, so it's not looking good at the moment. But this is a very unoptimized game, as I've told you before. So if it doesn't manage to get 30 FPS, I put it on high setting, so I'll be I'll be surprised if this gets about 20 FPS, to be honest.
because because most most new GPUs struggle with this game on full settings. Alright, guys, we're currently getting 970 FPS, 955, 944, but this is just a cutscene. But who knows? This does look high quality anyway. We shall see. Alright, guys, we into the game. It looks fucking amazing. You literally can't tell the detail oh, just from the camera. But we're getting a 30 F 37 FPS, which is mad. Full settings, we're getting 37 FPS on this GT10. Okay, we're getting 40 now. Lord DL. Can't see anything. Even in heavily built up areas like this, we're getting 40 FPS. That's mad, guys. Wow. Just in case you don't believe me, it's on the top right. Very small, but you can still see it says 40. 42 FPS. Alright, guys, I'm gonna quit this game. I'm actually pretty surprised, you know. Because even the uh, big graphics card like the 1070. 1050 Ti, they struggle with this game. I don't know what it is. The 1030 is quite good. 1030 is quite a new processor. I mean, GPU. Alright, we're gonna run Modern Warfare 3 quickly. See the FPS, then we'll go to CSGO. And yeah, we'll have a quick look at all these. I'm not gonna look at all the games and show you the settings. I'm just gonna tell you that I'm gonna put all the settings in maximum and you're gonna have to believe me because these videos are taking too long. Wow, that looks shit. The resolution is wrong on this. Oh shit. Okay. Video. Alright, I'm gonna sort out all the games. As you can see, it's put it to 480p. I'm gonna sort all these out. Show you the FPS you get, average, tell you them, and then end of the video, however, give you a conclusion. Alright, guys, one full settings now. We're averaging 117 FPS, 100 FPS, 90 FPS. So it's about averaging 100 FPS, yeah, because it's gone to 120 now. 112 I'll go more into the gameplay game when he gets into the gameplay section goes to about 90 so we'll call it an average of 90 FPS and we'll move on to the next game now next game is CSGO let me load it up quickly alright oh, guys the CSGO is not a very heavy game so yeah I don't know why I'm showing it but yeah uh, everything's not full screen for me it's gonna be off screen I need to sort it out, but on CSGO it just goes weird, I don't know why. And there's no way I can change it, so I need a monitor, I guess. Because this TV is very old, it doesn't recognize it properly. But yes, I shall show you the FPS if it shows up. No, I don't think it'll show up. FPS should be in the top right corner, but it isn't. Whoa, do you see that? Graphics just improved. I shall try to fix it. Can you see? Oh, that's nice. Can you see how it's not on the screen? Everything's not on the screen. It's come off the screen. I'm going to try fix it and then I'll show you quickly. Alright guys, it is working. Got it all on screen properly. Okay, so we're getting an average frame of... Can't even tell. There you go. Ah, my finger's in the way. 130, 140. It's very faint in the corner, but we're not moving, so let's get some movement. Movements, oh, when we're moving, we get about 100 FPS. 70 FPS with smoke. 100 FPS back to 100 FPS, 120 FPS. Yes, averaging about 100 FPS, we'll call it. This is in full settings, so very good. It's when you get into smoke, it drops to about 90. The lowest it's dropped I've seen is 83. But yeah, that looks amazing, guys. I'm gonna move on to the next game now. Alright, guys, we're gonna do see uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2. See what this is like. This isn't gonna be in full settings as well. Okay, guys, the settings are in full. On While stationary, the setting is uh, FPS is 54, I mean. Let's get some movement going. Oh, spacebar. Yeah, when we start moving, we get 90 FPS. How the fuck does that happen? And then it's come back down to 54. I think it's when this mirror, when there's too much in that mirror, it goes lower. Yeah, we're at 70 FPS. I wish I could show you. I can't show you. There you go. 
Okay, 76 FPS, 86 FPS, 71 FPS. I think I'm doing delivery. I didn't even realize. But yeah, when you're inside of the cabin like this, you lose a lot of FPS. Best way to get more FPS is to drive like that. When you drive like that, look at that. I'm on 120 FPS, 146 FPS. So yeah, if you got a bad PC, drive like that. But yeah, I like driving like this, so I'm going to drive like this. Oh shit, I keep crashing. <laughs> I'm trying to record at the same time. So yeah, this average in about 90, 90 FPS, yeah. We'll call it 90 FPS because it goes to high peaks. And the lowest I've seen it go is 78. So very decent game. We can run it very well in full settings. So yeah. Let's move on to the next game, which is GTA 5. It was GTA 4, I lied. This game is very badly optimized too, so let's go ahead and try it out. Oh, fuck's sake, I don't want to do this. I ain't got time for this. No. Damn. Alright, guys, so I'm going to co cut back into the scene when it's here. So, yeah, put the settings on full and let's see what FPS we get. And, yeah. Alright, guys, it's fully, fully thingy. We're getting a constant 60 FPS, a bit higher sometimes, a bit lower, 60 FPS, let's start moving. This is full settings by the way guys, bloody hell, this looks amazing. If the PS3 was this quality when it first came out, I would have fucking loved it. But they can't, they can't achieve stuff like that I guess. So yeah, we're averaging 60 FPS, we're getting a bit of stutter here and there because of the hard drive. I can hear the hard drive spooling up quite a bit. Ooh. Yeah, this game is quite heavy on everything. Which is quite bad. I need to invest in SSD as well, so I might do that. But it's an old PC, that's why it only has a normal SATA hard drive and not the fast one. Bloody hell, I need to fucking time. Yeah, so this game averages 60 FPS with the full settings on. That's amazing, guys. Alright guys, we're going to do GTA 5 after this, and then GTA Vice City, and then we're done. And then I'll give you a conclusion, guys. What I've noticed is all the games on this uh, load quite fast, so I'm pretty happy about that. They load pretty quick, and it's very weird because it has a slow hard drive. But everything loads quick, and uh, PC boots up very fast as well, I'll show you that as well. So it's a very good PC for the money. I'd say it's future proof for at least another five, five, six years. And when that does, when you do run out of that future proofness, you literally just change your uh, graphics card to 1080, something like that. Even a Titan, because it'll be cheap by then. And yeah, it should be good till then. And I'm going to put the i5 in, so let's see. It'll make it even more future proof. The i5 wasn't needed. It's not even needed now, but it's just future proven it and better CPU performance but yeah I right, guess I'm gonna show you the FPS now I right, guess we're on GTA 5 now we're averaging about 45 FPS 44 FPS on foot so let's see what it's like in a car hopefully it's the same oh shit I just took a screenshot so yeah the lowest I've seen it go is 34 which is alright yeah, so when you're driving, it's about 37, 36. That's playable, very playable, as you can see. Literally no stuttering, which is very odd. So it's all loaded into RAM. So that's decent. And I'll show you, I'll actually show you in the graphics. It tells you. Like, even with full settings on. I don't know where it was once. Look, even with full settings on, you still got another 700 MB of video RAM. Which is quite a lot. So this 1030 is not really it's performing well on this game. So yeah. Alright guys, I'm gonna actually leave. Don't turn the radio off. Don't want a copyright strike. Alright guys, I'm actually gonna leave the GTA Vice City out just because you know what the performance is gonna be like. What the hell this music come from? Turn it off. Okay, soft now. Okay, so 
from this budget build pc build mystery pc 55 pound i spent no 50 pound i spent and then 55 pound i spent on a graphics card but just alone the pc alone is amazing and yeah when i put the i5 in it's going to become 125 pounds pc but for that price it's amazing guys trust me it's definitely worth the money if you can find a budget pc on ebay just type in mystery pcs and you'll find quite a lot of them they don't give you specs or anything they just tell you it's got uh windows 7 that's pretty much all you see that's literally that was on my listing it was windows 7 pro and he said intel intel inside that's all he said on the listing and he said he doesn't even know if the power works because he can't test it so yeah and i had a spare uh, power supply laying around 500 watts uh, this is actually a small factor as you can see small form factor so I, w I was surprised i had one laying around and yeah that was all right anyways guys thank you guys for watching please subscribe to my channel if you're new uh check out my next video which is going to be a comparison of the i5 with the i7 I mean, i3 with the i5, the CPU scores and stuff. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Alright, see you guys. Bye.